Hello everybody, I'm going to talk a little bit about our adventures, shall we say, um, in crowdfunding. There's a lot to talk about and it could make a whole evening if there was enough interest. But anyhow, this is uh, partly my adventure or our adventures working on uh, a film, a feature film we were hoping to make called Gemma's Tale. It may still be made, but that's another matter. So you've got to start off by taking a few photographs and uh, I took a few photographs of the person who was going to play the lead. We tried this jacket to start with, but uh, it's quite demanding. I didn't think it was uh, maybe the right jacket to use and I wanted people to focus on the words and the person. So I had to find another actor and this time it's, it's quite funny really because uh, this actor we rejected initially and then we thought she's a really strong actor and uh, we thought she could play the lead a lot better than the person we had um, earmarked for it. So I uh, arranged to take a few more photographs of her to produce another poster. But eventually I went back to the photograph we took just across the station. Anyhow, so one of the things you have to do is you have to shoot various bits. So uh, we went up to uh, Norfolk where I partly live and we filmed there. The camera we used for the majority of the shoot was a JVC LS300. It's a fairly conventional 4K camera with the one difference that it has interchangeable lenses. Uh, so consequently we can use wide aperture primes if we want to. Mainly I use Samyang lenses and I have, I think it's about nine or ten lenses uh, available. I sometimes use Nikon lenses. Um, I have a converter to micro four thirds. There are a few lenses you can autofocus on the JVC, but you tend to use a manual focus. And very often we need a focus puller to actually pull focus if we move the camera. And we have a remote device which we weren't using on this occasion, but it, um, it, you can track it wirelessly um, so you can keep in focus. This was the first scene we shot. It is when Gemma has been called to the Human Resources Office um, and she gets a little bit of a surprise. Can I get you a tea or a coffee? Coffee, milk, no sugar, please. Could I please get a white coffee and I'll have a tea, please. Thank you. Thanks. So, you've been with us nearly three years, working, I believe, two or three evenings and the odd weekend. Normally, I clock up 12 hours a week. Mm. How do you find it work? When I took the job, it was mainly just to earn some cash. But now I really enjoy it. I've learned a lot. Uni is great, but to have the experience working in the real world it is better. Good. Stuffing envelopes is not my preferred destination in life, but the odd evening a week, it's not a problem. Mm. That's very much the same Christine says. <clears throat> in fact, she speaks very highly of you. You look a bit nervous, you aren't, are you? Just a little. <laughs> Can you guess why you are here? Bearing in mind I'll be moving in a couple of months, I guess you'd like to, as they say, let me go. Oh, no. No way. In fact, the very reverse. Oh. As you know, Christine will be going on her maternity leave soon. She was told to take some more rest. So she'll be leaving us in about fortnight. Nothing serious, I hope. No, no, she just needs more rest. Anyway, we will have to replace her for about nine months. And I've spoken to Christine and I've spoken to some of your co-workers and without any dissension, they all suggest you should take over. What? Mm -hmm. But I'm only the temp, straight out of uni. But you know the business. So do the others. But there are not leaders, just doers. I mean, Kimberly could take over, but she doesn't want the responsibility. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, you don't have to say anything at the moment. As long as you let me know by the end of the week, that would be good. Yes, I can do that. Mm. Well, the initial contract would be for one year. And of course, you would be on a manager's pay scale, plus the bonus. 
that's a little bit more than your temp work. I'm speechless. Oh, hold on while I pinch myself. Yes, not dreaming. Nope. That's a bit better than getting the sack, isn't it? Hmm. Look, we want the people who will take the company forward and we feel you are one of them. The answer will be yes. I just need to fix things up with my flat boyfriend, etc. Should not be a problem. Welcome to the team. I, as the director, was trying to explain to uh, the actress, can you put your arm a little bit further round her so the camera can see the fingers. So Mariana takes a photograph. So we now go on to the scene. It's uh, kind of after the party. That guy turned out to be a right weirdo. I know I'm not the tidiest of people, but his place was ridiculous and it smelt. I slept on the couch for like half an hour and then came home. <laughs> and your night, sweetie? Well, apart from my bloody head, <laughs> it was a great night. I kissed some guy. I love just letting myself go. Do you know, I've never really done that before. See, I told you you'd enjoy it. My friends are pretty crazy. Yes. Well, after a fairly high pressure week, it's great just to let things go. Are you going to mention it to Connor? Good point. I don't think he'd be very interested. Should I feel guilty? So how near are you to being young, free and single? <laughs> I don't know. When I think of him, I miss him. But when I'm away, I don't. Sounds like you Seems like you still have a foot in both camps. Guess so. One day I'll find my Mr. Right, but until then, I'm still looking. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever come close to finding your ideal partner? Where'd that come from? Just interested. Well, there was someone special. Oh, it's about six years ago now. We were very close. He's a bit older than me. He was a soldier in the British Army. You, you don't have to tell me. No. No. And I want to. We had a stupid argument. I can't even remember what it was about. And he stormed out. And then a week later, he texted me. Off to Afghanistan. Four weeks later, he, he was dead. Blown up by an IED. Never. The last time that we were together, we argued, and then it was again. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's terrible live like a hermit for the next year, just never went out, just work, shopping, watching TV, sleep. I think I'd be the same. I think that scene took about an hour and a half to film and then we had a quick cup of tea and then we went on to the last scene which we did in the day which was the attack and this was done against a green screen but our green screen wasn't big enough to do the whole width so we had to add a little bit afterwards. Why? Justin, why? I loved you. I trusted you. The next scene I'm going to show is the opening sequence from the teaser. The walking sequence was shot by Lauren, our actor. This is Gemma. She is a pretty normal 23-year-old university student. She doesn't know it yet, but she's about to be awarded a first-class honours degree in business studies. You know there are those good days when everything seems to go right. I had had several good weeks. 
how things changed in late July. Certainly things didn't go well for Gemma. It ended in her being charged with a crime she didn't commit and a hefty sentence handed down by the High Court judge. This is Jonathan Coote, who is often acting in the West End. He plays our High Court judge. I have listened to all the elements of this case and taken them into consideration. However, this is still a heinous crime. You will be sentenced to three years and four months. You will be eligible for parole after 20 months. I wanted to record an interview with Laura to add to her profile so anybody wanting to invest in the project would know a little bit more about the lead character. We arranged time and it was uh, very marginal whether there'd be enough light to film and we had about enough time to do one take and this interview which I'm about to show is uh, the one and only take. Um, I think she has a lot of growth during the story. I think in the beginning I would say she's very naive, very la-di-da, not really, not really sure of the big wide world or kind of wrapped up in the uni bubble and I think it's when when she moves into the new place and when she meets all the new people that's when I think she realises a little bit too late how naive she really is. Maybe trusts the wolf in sheep's clothing a little bit, maybe doesn't know how to stand up for herself or is easily manipulated. Um, and I think everything that she goes through is because of that, because she was too naive to be able to deal with it. And in the end, unfortunately, it puts her in a, in a pretty difficult position. Um, but I like to think that during the journey of the movie, she, she grows for the better so that everything that she did go through has made her stronger in the end for it. It was it was complex at times. Um, so I really enjoyed the the scenes with Amanda in the kitchen. So with the two best friends and Grace, who plays Amanda, is fabulous. So I think we had a really good connection in that scene. Um, and probably the most difficult one for me. So when we filmed the scene after the attack with Justin, that was probably the most challenging for me um, in terms of switching into such a, an extreme situation and such a, such an extreme yeah such an extreme character change that so she's gone through so much and at the time we were just we were in a small set situation in the kitchen going from zero to such an extreme character moment for her was such a was a great challenge for me I think but that was difficult I think but I really enjoyed playing this character I think she's interesting and she's got so many levels and all the things that she goes through allowed me to have a journey as an actress in I had so much to explore in the, with this character. I think I could relate to her uh, quite a lot, no, maybe not myself now as a 28 year old but maybe 21 year old Lauren might have made several naive mistakes that Gemma's made so I think in in some ways I definitely could see a younger version of myself in some of the things that she is saying and doing um, which, which helped me play the character but I like to think I've got myself together a little bit now <laughs> that I'm older. Um, so it was a great it was a great couple of days of filming. Um, the guys were really supportive of me. So we had John Paul was there, and we had our cameraman Alan, who was fabulous as always. Um, they really looked after us. So we had an assistant on set who was getting us all the food and making sure we were refreshed and chilled out. And we had as many teas as we wanted. I think I had maybe eight coffees on that day. Um, but it was nice. It was intimate, and it actually it allowed us to really get into the scenes because we weren't. There wasn't hundreds of people bustling around. It was intimate and that's what the scenes required. So I think if we had the choice, I would like to continue to do small sets like that because it felt, 
better for me and I think we had a great couple of days. As we shot the teaser, we are now considered as in production on IMDb. However, time will tell if we ever get into production.